Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and now I'm starting the back nine of the Easter Tournament Rookie Division. So this will be holes number 10, 11, and 12. And hey, off to a better start on the back nine as far as replays go. Do pick up the drop on hole number one as it's definitely a wind angle that makes that a lot easier to do than it was on the front nine. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Smash that subscribe button. Everybody hit the thumbs up. Let's let it fly on hole number one, full top, one bar a side spin to the right. I'm gonna use that berserker. As you can see here, I'm stretching my club out to max just to make sure that I have the ball guide line up to the second fairway, okay? From here, I'm gonna go with quite a bit of OP. I'm not gonna push my club up to max. I'd rather have a little bit of a steadier needle on the overpower shot here as we don't have to um, have the distance right. All we want to do is just make sure we get this ball up to this top part of the fairway, which we do. Shot number two, going to be that max backspin shot. Check your own distance of your club. You know, here I'm at mid, but you really need to check your rollout and uh, see if you're at minimum mid or max. Okay, so check your own distance, but I played mine at mid. You saw here with the backspin approach, take a note here of the side spin as well. So max back, half right, okay, max back, half right. Super important. Hit that perfect ball. See here, come in, catch the slope, and we get that ball to dive into the hole for the nice little eagle there on hole number one. Hole number two, again, takes a little luck to get this one to drop for that ace, but take a look at the back spin, all right, and then take a look at the side spin to the left. Then I want you to reference the green squares that I'm landing on. See here, I zoom in, I give you a really good look of where I'm aiming, okay? We need to go over just a little bit to the left of here. Just a little bit, not a lot. Very close to the hole in one. Speed is perfect, but like I said, we need to move that shot over just to the left a little bit, okay? Now we go to hole number three here, 0% at max. This one you're gonna have to bring your horizon, your big dog, your cataclysm to, uh, whatever you're best with on your most powerful wood club uh, because it's gonna be a difficult second shot to make sure we get that ball to green, especially if you have lower level clubs, right? The drive is pretty easy. Playing that quarterback just for that accuracy purposes makes it an easier drive. Here I did leave some yards on the table though, okay? So you could reduce the amount of backspin that I did. As you can see here, that's a lot of room um, left onto the rough line. We would like those extra yards for shot number two. That would be pretty important. Hey, I hope I'm doing a good job for you. That was the killer front nine for this course as far as the replays go. I always say it at least once or twice in my final round videos. I'm kind of like your favorite waiter or waitress. I do work on tips. <laughs> uh, it does help me replenish the balls. It helps, you know, for my time and practice tokens, all that good stuff. So if you're able to do so, that's awesome. If not, I completely understand as well. I'm just appreciative for everybody. But I do put my link to my PayPal in the comments section below. Most of my videos, it just automatically there. So, all right, take a look here at the top spin. But like I said, uh, I'm having a rough time as far as getting this ball guideline to the hole and making it a good shot. So I don't have any way to adjust for the wind or elevation here. I just had to pick a spot and shoot. I was already going to be at max distance in my club no matter what. Uh, you can see here, I barely, I mean, I'm talking about, I barely made it. Look at this. So you see here the headwind. There's just no way I can adjust for the wind. So I took a normal shot. I should have used some more overpower, but look at that. I mean, whoo, 
almost went scuba diving here on hole number 12, even hopped over the sand. So a lot of luck there for me on this hole. But again, um, if you get more yards on the drive or you bring a cataclysm or a big dog, just a better club for your wood iron, for your wood club, more powerful, you'll be better off. All right, everybody, I'll continue to rock this thing out. Thanks.